So in a series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing loops in C++. We have discussed uh, till now for loop. Okay, everything about for loop we have discussed. So let's see a program. It's you can say it's a coding exercise for you guys using for loop. Now you have to write down a program to find out or to calculate sum of four integers from one to fifteen, and one and fifteen both are included means inclusive. Using for loop, you have to write down this program. Okay, now let's pause the video. We'll see the solution also in this video. Explain, I'll explain the solution step by step. But uh, first, you try out. Pause the video and try this out. So let's create a new file. We can say exercise for loop. Okay. Dot cpp. First thing is you have to include header, IO stream, then using namespace std, and then we'll write down main. Int main. Here we will take two variable int i and sum. Sum I'm going to initialize with zero. Okay, why so? Because if you don't initialize the sum. Then it will take any garbage value, and whenever we will do sum of, the, uh, when we will add in this uh, sum variable, then maybe it will give some unexpected result. So better to initialize the variables. Proper in initialization. Now in for loop, we have to do, we have to iterate the thing, uh, this thing from one to fifteen, and from one to fifteen also we will, we have to find out odd integers only. So you have to put extra condition also. So first, iterate our loop from one. Condition is less than equal to fifteen, equal to fifteen because it is inclusive. And then one by one, we are going to increment. Now check the number is odd or even because we have to do sum of odd numbers only. How to find out? If you divide a number by two and the remainder is zero, then it would be even number. If the remainder is not zero, it means it would be odd number. So same you can put. How to find out remainder using a operator modulo? I hope you know the working of modulo operator. If you don't know, then I we have discussed about these operators in the previous lecture, so you can check out the playlist. So if this number i and mod two not equal to zero, exclamation mark and equal to this is what not equal to zero. If the condition is true, this condition is true means the number is odd. Now do sum. So what we will do in sum, we will do sum plus i, the number. You will update the sum. As soon as you find out odd number, just add it to the previous sum. Once you find out odd number, again you find out odd number, again add sum. If the number is even, just skip this part and just do i plus plus. Okay. Now after this for loop, just print. Sum, sum equal to. We are going to print in a variable name sum we have. So just use that variable to print. And successfully, if the program would be successful, then just return zero. Okay, it means program return zero means successfully terminated the program. Okay. Now I hope you got this. Now let's run this and see. See, sum is equal to sixty-four. So you can do sum of four integers: one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. These are odd integers from one to fifteen, and you just calculate the sum manually. You will find out that sum will be sixty-four. I hope you got this logic. It's very simple, I guess. Okay. So if you don't know this thing, the behind the scene, what the execution process, the step by step, then you can continue watching this video. If you have got this thing. You can just skip the video. So, uh, in the next part of this video, right now, you just continue watching this video. I'll explain this program step by step. Okay. So, let's see the detailed execution of this program step by step. Whenever you run that program, control first of all uh, will go to the main function. Okay. Now, in main function, we have two variable i and sum. So, in memory. So memory would be allocated to this i, and memory would be allocated to sum. It is of n types of four bytes. Four bytes for this, four bytes for this. 
Now in i we don't have anything, in sum we have 0. Why I have initialized sum, that also I'll tell you. In i we have nothing. Now next statement is for i is equal to 1. Now this initialization of i, i is equal to 1. Now in i we have 1. Check the condition 1 less than equal to 15. See it is inclusive. So okay 1 has been included as well as 15 because the condition is less than equal to 15. It's not less than 15. It's equal to 15 would also be included. Condition true. Okay fine control will enter here. Now check the condition if this i 1 mode 2 equal not equal to 0 because see if if you divide a number by 2 and the remainder is 0 then that would be even number but we want some of odd integers okay so this this operator modulo will give remainder so if the remainder is not equal to 0 this operator is not equal to this explanation mark and equal to this is not equal to operator okay not equal to 0 yeah the remainder would be 1 only okay it is not equal to 0 it means it is odd so now the condition is true so control will enter again into this if statement so by default we have only one statement in if so i am not putting these curly braces if you want to put you can put here curly braces here and here okay now sum equal to sum plus i now sum plus i that would be initial that, that would be assigned to the sum now sum is equal to, sum is 0 and at this point of time i value is 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 so now 1 would be assigned to this sum now sum becomes 1 okay now i plus plus next task is i plus plus now i becomes 2 condition true again condition would be checked condition true again enter here now 2 mode 2 it would be 0 the condition is not true so we will not enter here skip this part and i plus plus now i becomes 3 condition true again enter 3 mode 2 remainder would be 1 so it is not equal to 0 yes condition true means as we know 3 is odd number so we will enter here now sum plus i sum is equal to 1 and plus i at this point of time i is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 now 4 be, would be assigned to this sum now sum becomes 4 now again i plus plus now i becomes 4 Condition true, yes, enter here, 4 mode 2 equal to 0, condition is not true, so we will not enter here, control will not enter here, skip this part, i plus plus, now i becomes 5, condition true, check the condition, 5 less than equal to 15, condition true, 5 mode 2, remainder would be 1, not equal to 0, yes, condition true, now sum would be done, like this, I hope now you, you can do this. So you please dry run, dry run this program at your own till i becomes 15. Once i becomes 15, condition is still true, i less than equal to 15, yes still true. Enter here 15 mode 2, yes it, it will give 1 remainder. So condition is true, it is not equal to 0. Again enter, now sum would be done. At finally sum would be 64. Now i becomes 16, now condition is not true. 16 less than equal to 15, no. Now exit from this for loop. Now out of this for loop what we are printing sum equal to whatever the value of sum. Now sum would be printed that is 64. We, we have initialized sum with 0 because if you don't initialize a number that will take any garbage value. And suppose it will take it, it is taking any garbage value and in garbage value plus at first time I was 1 garbage value plus 1 definitely it would be some garbage value. So maybe the result would be something different no different from whatever i have we have expected so better to initialize a variable before using it with some value okay here we have initialized i with one sum with zero fine i hope now you got the working of uh, this program this exercise so now in the next video we'll see uh, a range based for loop or better we will see while loop because for range based for loop we have to you have to uh, you know have some idea about arrays and vectors but I haven't discussed those things. So first we'll discuss while loop and do while loop. Then a small discussion uh, discussion would be on arrays and vectors. And then we will see that range based for loop. So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then bye bye. Take care.